So your PSAT score came back and you're wondering what it all means. Is your score even good? What should you do now? In this video, guys, I'm gonna answer all those questions and more, so stick around. First, make sure to comment below, what did you get on your PSAT? I would love to hear it. Hey test takers, Laura Whitmore here with STP. I've been a test prep coach for over 16 years now and I have helped hundreds of students improve their scores significantly on the SAT. So let's get started and talk about how the PSAT is scored and if your score is good or not. So the PSAT is scored out of a 1520 scale, unlike the SAT's 1600 scale. What basically contributes to this discrepancy with the 80 points is that the PSAT is lacking a little bit of math concepts that will be on the SAT. This is to account for juniors or sophomores who haven't fully taken the Algebra 2 course yet. That being said, your PSAT score and SAT score is a rough direct translation. So experts use your PSAT score in order to predict what you would get on the SAT. If you got a 1100 on this PSAT and you turn around and took the SAT tomorrow, chances are you're gonna score about an 1100 on the SAT as well. So this goes to the next question, is your score good? Okay, just to give you an idea of average, average is between like a 950 and a 1050. If you wanna score top 10%, then you need to get above a 1200. If you're looking for top 1%, you're looking to get a 1500 and above. That being said, if you're not where you wanna be, then what can you do to improve? Well, first and foremost, my first tip for you is make sure you smash my subscribe button below. Guys, I come out with useful free videos every single week to help get you ready for the SAT and get a better score than you originally had. Make sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on when I drop new videos. The second thing I would say is be realistic and give yourself enough time to prep for the test before you go in and take an SAT. So I have tons of parents and students ask me, well, how much time do I need to go up? And every student is different, but if I was to completely generalize, I would say on average, it takes about two months of consistent prep to go up 100 points. So keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out your goal and how much you need to go up by. The third thing I would say is to use your score report to your advantage. So the PSAT uh, score report is gonna glean great insights for you, namely your areas of weakness. So let's say you're missing three bars under the craft and structure category. That means you need to really focus on certain types of craft and structure questions like function of an underlying sentence or comparative text one, text two questions. When new students come to us at STP, that is one of the first things we always do. We will sit down with them, assess their score report for weaknesses so we can come up with a customized plan that makes the most sense. Now, once you've targeted your weaker areas, there are a couple great resources you can use to really hone in and practice those specific types of questions. The first that I will point to is College Board's Question Bank. College Board's Question Bank is completely free and it allows you to filter to certain types of questions you need more work in. It's amazing. The second thing I would recommend is getting the Preply app. The Preply app was the first digital SAT prep available in the App Store and in Google Play, and it is helping students all over the world improve their scores. What's awesome about it is you can practice all these different types of questions from your mobile device, so you don't need to be home tied down to a computer. It's super convenient. So I'm gonna throw a link up here so you can go get Preply right now. I will make sure to put links in the description for both the question bank and for Preply as well. The fourth thing that I would suggest is don't go it alone if you can swing it. So of course, there's amazing free resources out there, you guys. You've got Khan Academy, you've got the question bank, you've got Blue Book. But I would recommend if you can to try to take a course or get with a tutor or even just get with a friend who's scoring higher than you are because it's much easier if you have someone who already is a master at the test to walk you through it and to show you how to do it. 
Just to give you an analogy, if you prep on your own for the test, it's like getting into a rowboat without a map and trying to find the nearest island. So with a tutor or with a course or with a friend, with someone that can help you along, it's like getting into a speedboat with a map. You're gonna get there much quicker. So one thing I would recommend you do is start with an online self-paced course. You can get all of the strategies and tools and tricks that you would get with a more expensive one-on-one -on -one tutor or a live class. And I have an awesome course I've designed with you guys in mind. So it's all exclusive video content. I walk you through each type of question on the English modules and how you can ace them. And right now, since you are a YouTube viewer, I'm offering my YouTube community a special discount. So you can put 50 off in at checkout to get $50 off the course. So I will link it up here right now. Go check that out. Also, really cool, I'm working on a self-paced math course. It should be done before the end of the year. I'm so excited, so keep your eyes open for that. Now, I understand some of you guys might, you know, doubt yourself with doing a self-paced course. Maybe you don't really have the self-motivation. If that's the case and you think you would prefer to work with someone one-on-one, -on -one, I have an amazing team of tutors here at STP. We all scored above a 1500 on the SAT. And my tutors were recently in your shoes as students themselves. They all were able to increase their score 200 points or more, and they can show you how to do it too. So go ahead, click the link up here, fill out our contact form, and we'll be in touch to set up a consultation. All right, the fifth thing I would recommend is to take an ACT. You're gonna to wanna to take an ACT right away. So I'm gonna link down below a practice ACT test. I want you to take it as soon as possible, compare your ACT score to your PSAT score. You can find conversion charts online that directly compare an SAT to an ACT score. If you are at least 50 points higher on the ACT, I would say go ACT. Figure this out sooner than later because you don't wanna spend months prepping for the SAT only to find out that the ACT is a better test for you. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button below. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time guys, happy prepping.